orienteering is the ultimate test of physical, mental and technical skill. Athletes navigate the course using a map where a certain number of controls are marked. They must visit all the controls in the correct order. They also have to decide which routes to take to get around the whole course. There are a few TV controls where we can track their progress, but the athletes are not allowed to look at the map until the moment they start. Distances can range from sprint events at 3km to long distance events of 18km. Every control is marked with an orange and white flag and runners show they've been there by registering with a touch-free electronic chip. The longer events take place in forests and heathlands and are a test of endurance. But for the shorter distances, the athletes head to the towns where running and navigation speed is key and every second counts. Every athlete is also equipped with a GPS tracker which enables spectators to watch where they're going out on the course and enables them to see the route choices they've made. As well as individual competitions, there are also relays. The forest relay has a mass start and is run in teams of three. For all events, the fastest time on the course wins, whether it's a mass start or an individual time trial. The time is measured when all the controls are visited in the correct order and the athlete crosses the finishing line.